Hmm. Yeah, hi there. It's a wonderful day, the day here in Bremen. Very really nice. So, smoking, smoking my home at Knutsen. Uh, you probably have already seen that in another video. So with a nice silver band, very straight, very, uh, just kind of simple in many ways, but in a good way. So, perhaps one day I'm going to talk about Harmer Knudsen. So actually, I was planning on a video, didn't find the time so far. But anyway, going to do that one day. So he is a really fine pipe maker. So smoking that, and in that, I have some nice tobacco. So it's a Dunhill Dark Flag. Dunhill Dark Flag. So probably most of you guys already know the Dark Flag, but I want to talk about that anyway because you know, why is that? So we we all we have our favorite tobaccos, I think, from each company. So. And when it comes to Dunhill, the Dark Flag, this really became one of my favorite Dunhills over the last, I don't know, 12 months or something like that. So, it is an old tobacco. I think it was done 1970, uh, first time or around that. And then they, it just left the market. I think, 10 years after that or something like that and was re-released a year ago here on the German market I think something about that so together with several other tobaccos and you know we, we all we hope that um, this re-release that yeah when we look back on several years, that this wasn't just a short episode because Dunhill leave in the market. So uh, I think at this point, we don't really know what happens to Dunhill and, and the tobaccos. But it would be a shame if, if, if this tobacco and many other good tobaccos from Dunhill, if they really, uh, really uh, would leave the market completely. So, but, but we know we don't know so far what, what happens. So I'm planning on a video, um, um, yeah, which tobaccos to sell her from Dunhill for me personally. So just in case. So I think we all we have to make our decisions. So we, we don't know what happens to Dunhill. So we have to make our decisions: should we sell her or not? So, but I'm going to do a video about that another time. Today I want to want to talk about. Uh, this really fine Donald Dark Flag. So the Donald Dark Flag, this is some kind of sister tobacco to the, yeah, you, know, you can really say famous uh, flake. Let's just call flake from Donald. So we all we all know that that's a pretty fine Virginia flake. And this one is a Virginia Perique flake. I show you the tobacco. So it is produced. The Scandinavian tobacco group, they say. But I think we all know that it's probably produced, or I'm quite sure, produced uh, by Orlik. So an Orlik is part of the of the Scandinavian tobacco group. And we all know that Orlik, they're really capable of doing doing good tobaccos. And they, they proved it again, I think. So look at this tobacco. I think. Really lo looks quite nice. Hope camera gets this done. So it is really what they promise. It's a dark flag. So far, so good. It comes a little bit, I don't know, a little bit broken. I don't know if they don't really take care of that <laughs> or if they want to have it that way. So it's a little bit broken, but anyway, um, I, I normally rub the flag a little bit out and then just let it slide into the bowl and that's okay. It burns pretty well, so but the tin node, 
if you have a tin now, and you just and you just smell it. You have a slightly sour note from the Perique, some some raisin notes. It's a little bit earthy, so it's it's really it's really honest tobacco. So it's uh, no flavor added or something like that. And doesn't have to. So when it comes to these flakes, what I really like is sweetness. Natural tobaccos with enough sweetness. And it really has enough sweetness. So it is sweet. It is, it is even rich uh, when it comes to the flavor. And it's not under complex. So it has a good complexity. Mm, I think that's because of the, the dark Virginias uh, and of course the Perique. So the Perique always likes to give a little extra note. Of course, that, that, that's what it's made for. So, um, And you have the slightly Perique note, but it is not a, let's say, a forceful Perique tobacco. Um, it is a Virginia taba tobacco, added with a note of Perique. So, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. With the dark Virginias as a flake, you can't complain about that, I think. So it burns pretty well, it's easy to handle. Uh, another important thing is always, mm, um, it doesn't change during the smoke. It's quite constant there. Uh, quite constantly notes of Virginia and Perique. So I think it's a good tobacco, perhaps even an old day tobacco. Yeah, depends uh, how much you smoke and uh, what you want to spend for that because yeah, it's a downhill. So that means it's not common cheap. Uh, price in Germany is 14 euros 30 cent. So okay, that's um, that's not cheap, yeah, but it's not as as pricey as let's say a three nuns. So I think it's perhaps it's even a fair price, so let's say that. Because it's good tobacco. Yeah, many of these Donald tobaccos are good tobaccos, uh, we all know that. So yeah, let's see what happens to them. So yeah. And that's that's really one of my favorite uh, Donald tobaccos. So I think I'm gonna sell all this one. Just in case. Well, we all don't know what happens to the down tobaccos, and I, yeah, I don't want to be without it uh, too quickly. So, problem is you 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 can't really sell it for your whole life. That's <laughs> oh, perhaps you could, but I don't know. There's a lot of other stuff on the market. We all know that. Okay, that's about the tobacco. The location. Well, as I said, I'm in Bremen. And behind me, this is the highest point of Bremen. So this hill here, I know it's about 58, 59 meters. So it's the highest hill we have here in Bremen. But it's not a natural hill. Yeah, it is not. It's a garbage mountain. A garbage mountain. You won't believe that. So don't get me wrong, when I take a sniff on the tin, it's not, it's not a, that I say it's a little bit sour because uh, of some strange uh, smell from the mountain. <laughs> you don't smell anything here, so. Uh, yeah, this garbage mountain, uh, that, was, that was founded or whatever, so they, they be, began to fill that, uh, that garbage mountain too. Uh, so it goes back to, I think, um, around the time, same time, uh, when Donald put out this tobacco. So <laughs> that's the reason why I did that here. So I think it's about the same year. One year more or less. So, and since then, I just put the garbage here. 
So that wasn't, of course, that's on the on the border region of Bremen. So there are no enough facilities around. There's not much around here. So but the city grew and coming closer to the garbage mountain. And today, you know, you know, it's it's not any it's not really proper anymore to just throw the waste on a, on a mountain or <laughs> making, a, making a small hill from the garbage. So this garbage mountain is going to be closed for garbage, I think, in the next few years. Three, four, five years, then it's, it's done. And it's recultivated. Yeah, recultivated. I, they put some green on it. Uh, some solar energy on the hill, some windmills. So perhaps I'm gonna show you a little bit around with the car. So after after the video, at the end of the video. So and yeah, it's gonna be close, and now it should be some kind of green hill. So there's no there's no danger of pollution or for for the environment here. So they made that sure. Uh, it's not leaking into the water or something like that, so they, they take care of that. But anyway, it's not, not proper anymore just to throw the waste uh, on a hill, we all know that. So, what they do now, and they started that also several decades ago, um, they have a garbage incineration facility, I think that's the correct term, um, so that they burn the garbage, and they make an energy from that. And what, the, what do they do with the energy? It's just around the, um, on the other side, so behind me there's the Autobahn, on the other side uh, there's this facility to, to burn the garbage, and they take the energy and they heat up the University of Bremen with that. You must be a fool to, uh, <laughs> to say that the university is driven with garbage, so, uh, <laughs> and I, I, I I don't want to say that, so... Yeah, well, it's good use for, for the garbage, of course, so heating up uh, all the huge buildings of the university, of course. That's a good thing. Yeah. So, this is about the facility. A lot of garbage. Yeah, perhaps I'm going to show you around. So, I think that's pretty much it. Could call myself lucky. Security didn't show up so far. I don't know. Perhaps I better keep going. Oh, you see, they watch out that nobody, I don't know, coming in and just throwing garbage on the mountain or something like that. Okay guys, that's it for today. I thought it could be an idea not to show you always the, the tourist sites. Well, that's a site here where no tourist would ever come, I think. Well, perhaps in two or three decades, maybe. Perhaps they're going with ski uh, in the winter here when the mountain is covered with snow or maybe a little park for skiing so not many hills around here we're gonna see that so guys hope you all are well uh, hope you have something good to chew on I hope you enjoy I hope you have really nice days to enjoy uh, your pipe Hope the weather is uh, is good, at least for for some days. So yeah, take care, guys. Hope you all are well, and uh, perhaps see you again.
Well, guys, that's funny. Show you something. Can you read that? Can you read that sign right in front of us. We have the highest hill in Bremen, they say. The company <laughs> I drive the the garbage mountain here. Okay, gonna continue our way. Let's see if we can't can find another spot here. So, trying to do everything green. Ah, uh, somebody wants to go quicker. Let him. <laughs> oh yeah. So okay. That's all this garbage hill. See, crows, a lot of crows here. Damn. Oh, thank God. Better not getting out of the car. I'm unarmed. So you see, trying to recultivate that. And with bacteria and all these uh, things, so uh, all the difficult stuff, let's say, the more dangerous waste. So, okay, and here, there's another part, well, it's closed now. So, in this area, uh, they do the furniture recycling. So I'll give you perhaps a better view. I don't know if I can handle that here. Mm. So there's a facility, I don't know, 50 meters or 20, no, 20 meters on, on the left side. And uh, yeah, they just crashing all the furniture and oh no and very small pieces and then even smaller pieces yeah back to earth let's say that okay better retreat before security gets us So now the other way around. Well, these crows, they make a good living here. Can be sure of that. Okay guys, that's enough of the sins of the past. Um, <laughs> so, take care guys.